Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à la semaine 4. Uh, welcome to week 4. So I'm going to walk you through all the things that you have to do this week in week 4 of French 1411. So first of all, uh, in this week, you're going to be doing uh, some uh, review stuff, right? So if you missed the real-time web meeting, we had our second uh, real-time web meeting this past Saturday from 10 to 11. Um, go ahead and review the video recording of that that's in the week four module in D2L. And if you missed, make sure that you submit a film review. Go to the film review module, watch one of those films, and uh, write your review and submit it in the Dropbox, okay? Um, also, another thing to review is last week's voice thread. Last week, I, I posted three activities that I chose from the textbook, right? Uh, it was like exercises 10, 14, and 18, and you were supposed to select uh, a sentence and read the sentence out with the answers and spell the answers and give the numbers that went with your answers. Um, and uh, those people who didn't quite do that right, uh, I gave you full credit for it uh, anyway. But moving forward in the future, uh, I won't be giving you full credit for it. So make sure you read the instructions. But everybody needs to go back to that voice thread and especially view, re view the uh, last video that I made. It's a review of all of the answers. So you can have all the answers to all three of those exercises if you watch that. Um, go to D2L and go to grades and check your grades and view the feedback for last week's audio recording. I made a little video for each of you personalizing your uh, corrections and suggestions uh, in there. I hope you find that helpful. And uh, this week's voice thread, there's a new one this week in week four, and uh, it's a picture of a classroom. And I started off by asking a question, and somebody has to chime in and answer that question, and then ask a new question, etc. So that's how it's going to go. So you pick something, when well, you answer the question that's asked, uh, then you pick something and ask a question about it. If it's a person, make sure you use qui est, and if it's a thing, make sure you use qu'est-ce que c'est. And there's also an anonymous feedback survey this week, so make sure you take that survey um, and uh, take a screenshot of the receipt, the little you have successfully submitted notification at the end of the survey, and post that screenshot in the discussions so I'll know that you've completed the survey. And if you have any general questions about the class or comments about the class that you want to share with everybody or ask me, uh, uh, go ahead and post that in this week's discussions. The only requirement for contributing to this week's discussion is just putting your receipt in there, your, your screenshot uh, that you have successfully submitted the survey, okay? But again, if you have additional questions, feel free to ask them in the discussion, all right? And also this week, uh, you have a new audio recording that you have to do, and it's exercise 18, qu'est-ce que c'est? So it's the third exercise uh, from last week. So if you want to, you can go and review that voice thread from last week and uh, uh, practice listening to my example and then repeat and then go ahead and make your own. So make sure you also include the title of the exercise in your recording, Exercice 18, Qu'est-ce que c'est? And also, when you make and submit your recordings, of course, yes, they need to be an MP3 file. We got everybody making MP3s now, so that's awesome. But it has to be in one file, so one MP3, uh, uh, please, all right? And you have four video-based e-workbook uh, activities. They're little quizzes where you watch a video and answer some questions. And you can take those again. If you mess up the first time, you can take it again a second time. There's a submission review uh, where you can check and see what the right answers are and the wrong answers are. Make sure you get your accents working uh, this week. Use those uh, quizzes to practice typing your accents in a test because you'll have to do that in the upcoming exam. And this week, I'm going to be going through the paragraphs. You submitted your compositions last week in a Dropbox. I'm going to go through those and record a screencast of my walking you through some corrections and suggestions of those. You're going to get video feedback on that. I'm going to be working on that all week long. So incorporate that feedback that I give you into a second version. You're not going to turn that in this week. You're going to turn that in during week five, all right? So you're going to get some feedback at some point this week on your composition. You fix it and then turn it in during week five. I probably will make it do Saturday of week five, so you'll have plenty of time uh, uh, to fix it, all right? And there's an exam coming up. We're done with the chapitre préliminaire. We're done with the chapitre 1 by the end of this week, and that means it's time for one of your exams. So you have uh, milestone exams in the course, and this one's on those two chapters. So make sure you have a look at the module uh, there that I've made for the milestone exam and uh, read through the list of things that you're responsible for in the exam. There's also a link to the testez-vous in chapter one. Those are good exercises to do for a review. 
The test will not be available immediately. In fact, it won't be available until later this week. I'm going to make the test available only Thursday through Saturday. Oh, sorry, uh, Thursday through Sunday, actually. And uh, you need to, about two hours uh, to take it. And you can't stop and start and stop and start. You have to do it all at one setting. You're going to be using something called Respondus Lockdown Browser. So uh, uh, make sure you know uh, that uh, your accents have to be part of the keyboard, right? So you have to know how to be able to make accents with your actual keyboard. So I would go ahead and experiment with adding, for example, U.S. International uh, as your English keyboard if you're using PC. Um, uh, it's a little bit easier on a Mac. I've posted instructions on how to do all that uh, in the very beginning modules of the course. So make sure you get those accents working. And that's about all for this week. So everybody have a really nice week. And thanks for your wonderful participation. Au revoir.